everyone. Hello, everybody. I'm Akaya. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate you so much. Where's many hats? Entertainer, businessman, father, and caregiver to many. He's an integral part of the entertainment industry, and his contribution to the diverse landscape of South Africa is appreciated and honored by music lovers the world over. The world sits up and listens. Please put your hands together for SA's legend, a South African music icon, Mr. Sipo Hot Sticks Mawuse! <laughs> It is such an honor. Ukshala na we lagu zaziwa. Thank you, Bonga. Can you tell us Kulu Mrs. Zulu? Anything you want. <laughs> Anything you want. It is your night. You tell your story. Okay. Yeah, Bon. So when we think of you, we immediately think burnout. Right. You know, and a lot of people who come on the show request that song because they say it takes them back to to family gatherings. You yeah. know, and time spent with their loved ones. Is that what you wanted it to be when you made it? Not really. Not yeah. really. Well, you write a song because you think, um, firstly, that people should like it. You know, people should respond and react. How they react to it is another matter altogether. I've heard different stories around how people responded to the song. Some people say, hey, I got married, you know, I got my wife dancing to your song, so yeah. So people reacted differently to the song. Yeah, yeah. And some people play it at their parties. Yeah. Well, everywhere people would say, you know, the party has not ended until they burnt, burnt, burnt until they are burnt out. So from the eighties to twenty twelve, ne? I think you, you surprised everyone when you decided Oguti Obeles Kolin was Ohamba Yoka Dimitri Kiyako at the age of sixty. Yeah. When's again back then for you not to get your matric uh, certificate? As my school by he came to high school, they spend money a cool, and then you do to get. He has money by money and me attract her. Inja any a cool. They send them a concert. They call you any. Send them a concert everywhere. We told you to get send them all in a license card. So, she invited you everywhere, uh, Hamburg, Cape Town, Ganjalo. Scotland, I would say, I found when you start to go to high school. Eh. As I got great, it's born in the same good day. It's a good day. I want to go to the metric, she has got bad. Yeah, but got away as far as I'm going to be able to move out to see a pala for the metric yet until um, 40 years later. Mm. Yeah, most probably, yeah, but 45 years. Langing at Avon with Yazin, a Montaga Catang is called. Eh, winning for Yaz Nay Fisa and Doti, a Fanning Gat is called. And besides, Uma Mias Washon and the Anna Chablilang with Tang Catang is metric. Not to cut his call. But Nyabez of Anton, most cases, but I've just finished school. But metric is just a beginning. You know? right. So, get not decider. Sure. Uh, it was tough. But uh, because I was determined. Yeah. You know, So uh, the first year, I was but Uzofunda, where na? Ha. How? So go and jalo go TV. You call me slow. Me, it's it's expensive. Ganje. It's expensive. Manjo. Manjo zoe nzani. You know, funu funda funu kati metric. Ogo tinga kuluma is different to ogo tinga fundi le eskole. So ba vuma the first year, na tisaida ogo tinga zo ainzo pala same time, six subjects. Omo ni tisha tiki me endot. We asu pala metric six subjects ogo tuwe nzima ganja. Utala wapume skolo inuwe. Ha. Ya wani. And mangu figa lapo ngutola kutikune. Gane. 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 
Abani And when I got my results, wow, I was elated. Wow. I had my metric. I can decide. Funugia University, I university. Yes. Funugia Sebenza, I Sebenza. So, a metric allows you that freedom, you know. Yes. But you get one or two months in 60 years. And you learn the school and you food in 60. Yeah. <laughs> 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 mm. I think it's fun to song it's fun is that you are never too old. You it's never too late no, for you to get I mean education. I I read recently that you go on sixty six na e o o big ups go go. And then yes, good abantana ba kone also played a role in encouraging you to be in school. Yeah, that's cool because I mean I I had always insisted good ba hambi ba by your founder. Yeah. They must get an education. So how I had to be an example to them. Mm. And I'm I'm very proud of Guti. All of them went to finish degrees and and so on. They mm. were very proud of me. Oh nice. Yeah. I think the whole nation was proud of you. Our president no, even president said of you were, yeah, right. Said, yeah. yeah. And then yes Guti, something comes to mind, my to Ray Charles, I can't stop loving you. Yeah. What a great soul singer. He was such a phenomenal singer. Yeah. You know, there was this song he always did uh, called I Can't Stop Loving You. Yes. I was a little boy. I think I must have been, what? I must have been about 10, 12. Yeah. You know, but listen, I mean, the man sang his heart out. Yeah. And I was always attracted to that, to that song. Sam Namtanje Psugu is a legendary musician who has performed in virtually every country in Africa. Ikambalake Ubapsipo Hot Sticks Mabuse. His sticks are still very hot when they beat the drum, I tell you. Ikulu Esiltanda Songe, a South African classic that he wrote and produced himself when he went solo after his group Iharari disbanded. It sold many, many copies and it's still a hit in 2016. Of course, I'm talking about the classic Burnout. Here it is. It's been long since I you saw seen this, this video. Very, 
Wow. Surprising. A couple of years? Many years. Really? <laughs> yes. No. No, I hear it more on radio. Um, I, I don't see it on TV because most probably when it plays, I'm probably out there working and, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so quite interesting. Yeah, no, I see it a lot because everyone who comes here wants the yeah. song to play. Yes, <laughs> it does. Ma Pega Manje, um, what memories come to your mind? You know, Begwen Zagala and Lemsan South Africa at that time. Um, it was a very tough era for Africans. Mm -hmm. But um, for some reason, this song, for me now, nah, just broke certain barriers. Because suddenly, uh, I mean, if one has to go back historically, mm -hmm. in our best performer was or and um, where we were allowed to go to, and so mm -hmm. I was amazed with this song allowed me to go everywhere. You know, I was, I mean, um, Abelungu, they responded uh, fondly, yeah. and I suddenly had many white fans, of course, across the color line, you know, in this country. Mm. There were quite many fans, and um, so it enabled me to access certain things. I was, that's why I always say it's, a, it's an ancestral song. Yeah. I didn't, I, I, I performed it. I'm not sure if I wrote it. And um, everything happened. I was traveling all over the world and the song was in demand everywhere. So, but it didn't change apartheid. Apartheid still remained, yeah. you know. But uh, for me, the song also enabled me to access relationships across the color line and so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. A very interesting story. I didn't know Gutiens is so... Yeah. Lengo Malen. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's very so much, so much. So much, you know. You you told me what 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 fame can do. Um what what fame also attracts is the people in your business. <laughs> yes. Last year it was reported with the yo kwa naba fana by two a back John Chell. What's the anye gang yeg lenda valena? Nizo ba trapa. Well that that's that's why I would need only combi so pila na van things on it trapa in fagelandly. Is that really what happened? Uh, is that really what happened? Mm. Um, I just don't believe everything I read, you know? I grew up in the township. Mm. You know? I understand township mentality. Hey. Sometimes, we a township now, we go to solve it easy. Well, I reacted. And with hindsight, it, 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 I, sh I shouldn't have. Yeah? I shouldn't have done it. And, um, but some of the things were a bit exaggerated, of course. Mm. Yeah, no, that you use the gun, you use a hammer. And, you know, I, yes, I meted out punishment as a, as a father. Yeah. More as a father figure, really, rather than as someone who, you know. And of course, the, the objective of the media attraction did not come from the media itself. Mm. It was created by the families. I was, I was quite disturbed by it mm. because it wasn't something that I, I am very proud of. Yeah. It wasn't something that I, the young children, they're my, I, I consider them my children, yeah. my sons. And my reaction to their action was more really as a father figure, mm. trying to show them, hey, you know but mm. I didn't realize that it would uh, attract so much negative media. Yeah. But it's all water under the bridge now. Yes. Uh, now we move on. Unless it's still in the water. It's just one of those. 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 It's supporting it. It came from very unlikely sources. Hey. Very, very unlikely quarters. And and uh, yeah, they look she now and but yeah, yeah, when at the hot sticks, yeah, boy, I must go to and Zanja, yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> so, but Kulisa Ganjalo, yeah. and that was Kulisa Ganjalo. Hey. I mean, 
You've got eight, about eight, eight children? Eight I children. Don't know. Yeah. You've the ones eight. that I know of. Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> the ones that you know of. There's eight of those that you know of. <laughs> no, I'm mean, honest, you know. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what are your hopes and dreams for them? Let them get an education. Mm. I always tell them, that's the best thing I can give you. Get educated. Yeah. <laughs> When you were the same age as your, your children? Yes. Yeah? No, no, even younger. Even younger? Even younger, yeah. Like I said earlier on, 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 I my mother was more liberated, but my father was still suffered a tribal influences. We asked Maskul Mrs. Zulengin. because he was So man, because was created So there was a program Gababu K. I may his soul rest in peace. And one of the best songs that would come on air was Ibu. And my chat with a musical icon, a South African legend, one of the greats that we have who's still keeping on, Kulma Ngobaba Usipa Hot Sticks, Mabuse. Welcome back. Thank you. You've been doing Mkulo for oh, so many decades, you know? And I know, I think all of us believe that what you say is good is really, really good. And the Ikoni artist, Oti. He's probably top of the list. Lambs and Safrik. Is he is he top of the list? This artist or that you Absolutely. selected, Lambs and Safrik? Yes. Tell Absolutely. me, tell me about the song and him. You know, we've had great musicians in this country. Um, many, many, many. I mean, I don't want to sound as though a, um, I'm forgetting the contribution that many others make. Yeah. He probably also had been influenced by others before him. Yes. But trust me, when I, he's the kind of person you hear his song the first time, he just gets sold. Wow. I mean, I heard Nom Vula on, on radio and I stopped my car and said, what? Who is this? In fact, I thought Ringo was singing. Hey. And I heard this song. I couldn't stop listening to the song continuously. Nom Vula is a masterpiece. Yo. It's a great song. Yes. You know? It's a beautiful song, well sung, well constructed. And guess what? It's in Kosa. Hey! Bazali bam, 
Dibizeleni si chando sa Itani guso Itani imile taona Si chando sa Zalaishi mote masimini zalaisha Bogo ndili ndile Zalaishi mote masimini zalaisha Zitando sa Zalaishi mote masimini zalaisha Agavelu no mbula wam Zalaishi mote masimini zalaisha Ndibanga chumela batu langeli Nice one. So you spotlight chair, Liz. Well, super. Shall I lapo? I just ask you questions like I've been asking, but now you just answer. Okay. No? Give ha. up. Oh. <laughs> okay. Give up music and have everything else that your heart desires, or have music and nothing else. Music. Have, so have music and nothing I'll else. I'll have music and nothing else. Wow. In the many years that you have been working, what's the one lesson that taught you a lot in MP? Um, appreciate everything you have, mm. everything you've achieved, and respect for others. Mm. It's very critical. Yeah. People make contribution to your own lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you rather win a Nobel Peace Prize or just get the money that comes with it? Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah. It lives forever. Money gets finished. Right? Yeah. And people don't talk about you in the years to come. You haven't Absolutely. made a positive contribution. You just child the money. It's like a gold record. Mm. <laughs> All right. What is the biggest regret you have? Not having been able to spend enough time with my children. Yeah? Yeah. Are you rectifying that? I am trying to, yes. Okay. Okay. What is your big dream right now? To be the president of South Africa. Are we going to vote for him? <laughs> We're voting for him, right? Give it up for my guest no, tonight. <laughs> You're going to be the president because we're going to vote for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Are you okay there? Thank you so Thank much. You Thank much. you so Thank you very much. That was lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you for the stories and sharing yeah, yeah. your life journey with yeah, us. I can't be the president, guys, please. Okay, so we don't vote, vote for the right person. So we don't vote for you then. <laughs> no, but Nick, I want to who have been supporting. I won't your... get into politics. <laughs> <laughs> We've been supporting your career for, for yeah. you know, they're watching right now. Um, but Bagit, I was no man could make it so lunes long, clown is a wrong thing. But he has again as as a manager, OT, the Pilisan and Motando. Let's love and respect each other mm -hmm. and break the cycle of racism. That is the scourge that destroys societies and communities. Peace. Peace. We'll see you next week. Bye.